Here are the tools and materials used in the construction of a slimline pen. Each item has a clip showcasing its contribution to the finished pen. The 7mm brass inserts typically come pre-cut with the pen kit. On the pen blank, make two markings at least 1 16th of an inch longer than the tube. Take into account the thickness of the cutting blade. Align grain on the two halves and make a W marking as shown. Mark center on either square side of both blanks. Insert a 7mm brad point drill bit into a drill press. We made this drill press table and bought a vise made for pen blanks because having the best tools for the job makes projects a lot more enjoyable. But a drill press jig for a power drill would probably be the cheapest way to get a straight hole drilled without running into too many issues. A centered hole is ideal, but not necessary. An off-centered or angled hole will turn out the same as a perfect hole. The only difference is maybe a slight misalignment in the grain between the two halves as a finished pen. Scratch up the outside of the brass inserts prior to applying CA glue. We used 150 grit. This necessary step will give the glue a good surface to bond to. Apply a line of glue, twist the tube, and apply another line. When inserting into the blank, twist the tube back and forth and in and out. This ensures that the glue is spread evenly. The brass tube should not be sticking out of either side of the blank. Let them dry for at least 30 minutes. Use a 7mm barrel trimmer to cut both ends of each blank down to the brass. If a significant amount of brass is removed, nothing will go wrong, the finished pen will just be that much shorter. I usually trim off the smallest amount of brass possible on each of the four ends. Insert a 7mm pen mandrel into the lathe. Slide on a bushing, a blank, a bushing, the other blank followed by another bushing. Make sure that the W is aligned. Tighten the tailstock, but avoid over tightening because it'll crack the wood and bend the mandrel over time. We're using poplar, which is a very soft and easy wood to turn. There are five speed settings on this lathe, and we put it on the middle setting of 1600 RPMs. Start turning with a roughing gouge until the square cross section of the blank turns into a circle. When a cylinder shape is achieved, switch to a spindle gouge. Turn the lathe off to check the blanks whenever it's needed. After switching to the spindle gouge, move the tool rest in because the wood is now further away. I won't go into proper chisel technique because I don't quite have it down, but make sure the cutting edge of the chisel is making contact with the wood at its center. Turn the blanks until they're very close to the outside diameter of the bushings. The closer you are to matching the bushings will result in less time with sandpaper. When it's time for sanding, get the tool rest out of the way and start with 150 grit sandpaper. Move gently back and forth on the blank. This grit will take the most time. Sand the blanks until the ends are almost level with the bushings. Before switching to the next grit, rub the blanks with 4 out steel wool with the grain. This will remove any of the scratches made by the previous sandpaper. Use steel wool after each grit.
After sanding through every grit, remove dust with a tack cloth and apply one coat of sanding sealer. Let it dry for at least 30 minutes and cut back the risen grain with 600 grit sandpaper. Use steel wool and a tack cloth before applying high friction polish. Many finishes can be used, but this high friction polish can be layered on, which gives the pen a long lasting protection compared to just an oil finish. The high friction polish dries fast to the touch, but probably takes a day to fully cure. Apply three coats or more, then let it dry for at least 15 minutes before touching. Press the tip into the end of one of the blanks. Press the twisting mechanism into the opposite end of that blank. Do not overpress. This will result in the ink always being out of the pen, even when retracted. If it is pressed in too far, there is no going back. Press the cap with the clip into the butt end of the other blank. Slide the band over the exposed twisting mechanism and screw in the ink. Align the grain and press the two halves together by hand.